29 Commando exists to deliver joint fires and targeting. This means integrating the delivery of guns, mortars, rockets, naval gunfire support, close air support, attack helicopter, and increasingly an array of novel uh, and electronic weapons that allow us to enhance the lethality and the survivability of the Commando Force. Hours. 148 Battery are to find prestige weapon systems in the western region of Strathclyde to understand their capabilities, disposition and intentions, to provide raiding options for 24 Mu, including terminal guidance, and to set the conditions for a high mass strike. Find suitable HLS in the vicinity of November X-ray 7346 to support a raid allowing USMC partners to establish teams on the ground. Commando Sergeant uh, at 29 Commando. I'm a Joint Terminal Attack Controller JTAC and we provide close air support to the 3 Commando Brigade. I'm in the Royal Artillery 148 Battery and my role is to direct fires, uh, artillery or naval gunfire onto a target. I'm a Royal Navy Weapons Engineer, Leading Engineer Technician. My role within 29 Commando is 148 Battery, Small Boats Coxswain and Outboard Motor Maintainer. Future Commando Force, in many ways, we're returning to our DNA of being commandos from the sea. Uh, so raiding, assaulting, or demonstrating to put small teams behind enemy lines to cause havoc, to create cognitive paralysis of our adversary. We have many different methods of insertion. So we've got para, onto land or into sea, helo casting, fast roping, submarine RV, our organic small boats teams, Jackal, OSRV, or ultimately by foot. So within 29 Commando you've got a plethora of tri-service personalities, uh, so we've got Navy coxswains and medics uh, and then from the Army side of things uh, we've got the artillery guys and uh, artillery JTACs. Within the air cell we've got the uh, RAF Reg uh, manning the Brigade Tac P and then we've got about 20 Royal Marines JTACs. Uh, as a small footprint in a strike team having one JTAC in that team with the disposal of F-35 uh, from 617 Squadron you'll be able to have uh, multiple effects um, with multiple teams at the same time. So the role of 148 Battery is to find, understand and strike high value targets. A typical mission for us would be to insert covertly, be that by boat or parachute, find the target, understand that target and be able to gather as much target information to be able to carry out strike. The fleet battle problem allows us to operate alongside our US Marine Corps Force Recon partners to penetrate covertly an A2AD bubble 
and then cross Q strikes from a USMC HIMARS to temporarily blind the enemy defensive system and thus allow the mass of others to get into the fight. Two Nine Commando have a very close working relationship with the US Marine Corps, in particular the uh, Marine Artillery Regiments, who provide support with M Triple Sevens and the HIMARS, which is a, a mobile artillery rocket system, which has enabled our observers to deploy and gather enough target information to be able to call in a strike uh, using the HIMARS, and then move on to further taskings and lead in a team from the US Marine Corps to carry out a direct action. Now more than ever, our commandos need to be highly skilled. They need to have the ability to seamlessly integrate sophisticated technology. They need to be agile in thought, and they need to be able to adapt to any situation. By design, we will operate at greater range, in small teams, often in highly contested environments, We'll employ various covert insertion methods, offering choice to the commander. Our people are our greatest asset and it's the commando mindset that instills the commando confidence to enable us to get after this today and tomorrow.